What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness. I want to talk to you guys today about depth of conversation. Now it's something that I've obviously run into myself, which is why I want to talk about it in this video. But uh, the depth of conversation in which you choose to have with certain people actually matters a lot. And it's something that I may have turned a blind eye to uh, and haven't actually realized sometimes when I'm talking to somebody, they may not be on the same level, the same frequency, the same page, whatever you want to call it. Uh, because I've actually scared off a few people, I believe. Uh, and I wanted to bring this up just to bring it to your attention because some, sometimes I can be quite erratic uh, and quite excited if I learn about something new, uh, which is just a part of my personality. I'm a very curious thinker and I always want to be solving something, learning something new and definitely implementing it at the same time. And so I think my vibration or just frequency is on another level and sometimes I've got to learn how to turn it back. What I'm trying to say is if you may be having this trouble or issue as well, uh, maybe you can get a few tips out of this video. And if you're on the actually other side of the spectrum, like if you're operating at, let's say, level one of depth of conversation with somebody or you can just tell that they've, they've kind of pushed it too far because the deeper the level of conversation the more draining it's going to be because you have to think about it a lot. There, there is a lot of thought, therefore, hence the depth of conversation. Just like if you wanted to dive to the bottom of the ocean, it's going to take a lot more uh, willpower, not only, and energy to dive there than just to float along the surface. Does that make sense? I hope it does, because it is really crucial. So whether or not you're that person that's going into extreme depth of conversation or you're the poor sucker on the other side who just wants to have a a nice superficial layer, easy conversation, and someone's just hammering you with what the universe is about, <clears throat> you can maybe give them these tips too. Now, I wanted to go over the levels of conversation because honestly, this has uh, helped me a lot just to learn how to kind of tone it back sometimes. So there's five levels, um, and where I researched this, I just flipped it on Google. There's a lot of other ones, so I've actually put together uh, five levels that I think um, are in the right order because there's levels of conversation that could be on any topic but this is more of a general a general outlying uh, list now level one it's going to be informational what did you uh, do on the weekend how was it uh, friends family whatever just informational things that have been done you're either talking about someone or about something <clears throat> really superficial first layer stuff now the second layer number two is emotional and reasoning uh, so if you're talking to somebody about how they're feeling during the day or uh, certain relationships they've got with certain people and how that makes them feel all right that's level two so it's getting a little bit deeper so more of the feeling side not uh, too much of just purely intellect uh, on a superficial level basis level three is consciousness morality um, or even talking about the future and self-awareness and development Okay, so usually like me being in a gym, I'm definitely always on level three uh, because I want to help people. I'm always, uh, I'm super self-aware, I think, and it's only going to increase and I wish for everyone to become a lot more self-aware about themselves, who they are, so they can make more uh, mature and better decisions for the future. Um, but yeah, consciousness is already a deep topic and morality, all your morals and stuff, all your values, what you think, um, having that conversation with someone is quite deep as well because it's not only about you but you're probably also wanting to know about theirs as well uh, and through an identity perspective that's that's giving a bit of your vulnerability away so again that takes a lot more energy so you're getting a little bit deeper now level four it's talking about maybe souls spirituality religion a lot of metaphors behind life uh, that's even deeper again um, so totally up to you on your thoughts on that but there could be different aspects um, but maybe you can even piece uh, what step four is between uh, the step three so consciousness morality uh, the future and self-awareness and development but the last one level five is purpose and the meaning of life um, and i guess the universe what is all this mean uh, what are we about the real deep stuff of just everything now that is real deep it takes a lot of energy and if you didn't know it already our brain uses 20% of our energy on just cruising now imagine if we're just talking about the universe and the meaning of life all day that is draining 
Uh, and I can easily see how it kind of scares some people off, especially my friends, because I feel comfortable enough to talk to them about this stuff. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you're just, you're not in the mood or you just, your energy's not that great that day. So the last thing you want to do is talk about the meaning of life. It's good. It's actually great to have an idea of a bigger picture of what's actually going on. I believe that is a crucial thing in life. You, de- you just 100% need the big picture and a small picture as well. Because if you don't have a big picture, you could just be fluffing along and getting all these small pictures right and realizing later on down the track, well, what the hell, I'm not even hitting a target I thought I might have wanted versus if you went back and just figured out what the big picture was, then you can start structuring those small pictures uh, in line with that big picture. That obviously makes sense. I know it does. Um, But back to the conversation, depth of conversation is... uh, yeah, sometimes I could be having a chat with somebody and bam, all about the universe and what the meaning of life is. And if you're that person copping it on the other side, all I want to do is give you that awareness that if you're copying that, it's sometimes you're right to be like, whoa, 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 hang on a second. Here's some depth of conversation. You know, right now I'm feeling like I need a level one. You're giving me a level five. This isn't going to work, otherwise I'm booting. All right, that's totally fair enough, and you've got the right to do whatever you want. Uh, and I think I've scared off a few people <laughs> doing this. So at the same time, I'm going to give them the right to tell me to back the fuck up for a second. <laughs> All I want to talk about is my day and what's happened. Okay, and even if you want to go into relationships and emotions, that's level two. You can even let them know about the levels, um, and just tell them where you want to be, where they're at. And maybe just bring a notch in or even just meet each other in between. This way it's going to be a lot more of a happier conversation and one energy is not going to be draining the other. All right, so I hope that makes sense, guys. So one, I guess, is definitely awareness and two is the knowledge of maybe those. You can come up with your own list, but at least having a structure to kind of abide by uh, gives you that power to, if you're on that receiving end, just to let them know. Or if you're on the giving end, Just have that awareness so that you're not just slamming somebody's energy when they're not ready for it. I hope that makes sense, guys. All right, till the next video. Peace out for now.